There's a lot of different ways in how you can have fish for food, and surely one of them is fish farming. But in today's video, you are going to witness some of the most advanced smart fish farming systems that are at another level. Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur and welcome back again to All About Discovery. And today is all about the most advanced smart fish farming systems that are at another level. But before we get started, we always publish new videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our great contents. And so, here we go! Number 1 is 4 million dollar smart fish farm launched. A $4 million smart fish farm, which is expected to produce about 350 tons of fish annually, was officially launched. The floating farm uses artificial intelligence and video analytics to monitor fish and detect early signs of disease. Aquaculture involves the breeding, rearing, and harvesting of animals and plants in both fresh and salt water environments. IoT technologies have revolutionized fish farming processes, using sensor networks to measure values such as pH, temperature, and other parameters. Number 2 is China promotes high-tech marine farming. Ganghai No. 1 is a marine farm in Yantai, East China's Shandong. Its intelligent cages feature auto-cleaning, data collection, and precise feed casting functions. Tourism is also being integrated into the marine farming industry. The company expects to produce 150,000 kilograms of fish and attract 50,000 plus tourists. Marine ranches enable farming to be transferred to the deep sea so that the offshore environment can improve. The construction and operation of marine ranches are changing the production mode of China's fishing industry. Number 3 is construction of world's first 100,000 deadweight tonnage smart fish farming vessel. Construction of the world's first 100,000 deadweight large-scale fish farming vessel started in Qingdao City of East China's Shandong Province, pioneering a new mode of industrial farming with movable fish farms on distant seas. Jointly developed and built by the Qingdao Consan Development Company Limited, the China State Shipbuilding Corporation Limited, the Pilot National Laboratory for Marine Science and Technology, and the Chinese Academy of Fishery Sciences, the vessel named Guxin No. 1 is expected to be delivered in 2022. Number 4 is New Floating Farm Echo Arc. A floating fish farm of Pasir Riz will be ready. It is expected to produce 500 tons of fish a year, or about 10% of local fish production. 
It will rear fish from eggs and sell young fish to other farms to reduce reliance on imports. The nursery is a new addition to the first Echo Art floating farm located in Pulau Ubin. It used to import young fish from Korea, Australia, and Malaysia to rare, process, and sell. Number 5 is Korea Invests in Aquaculture. Countries around the world are pouring funds into clean technology to raise fish and various other forms of seafood in aquaculture farms to meet growing demand. Korea is no exception. Researchers are inseminating the sperm with eggs to breed eel and they say finding the right timing and feed are critical, which is why it takes decades to perfect the process. Four years later, they cultivated artificial eel eggs, and three years after that, they hatched their first glass eel, which produced its own eggs. Number 6 is Fish Farming in Iowa Fish farming is a form of aquaculture in which fish are raised in enclosures to be sold as food. It is the fastest growing area of animal food production. Today, about half the fish consumed globally are raised in these artificial environments. According to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, roughly 32% of world fish stocks are overexploited, depleted, or recovering and need of being urgently rebuilt. Fish farming is hailed by some as a solution to the overfishing problem. And that's pretty much it for today's discovery. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.